Christos Drago. Uh, hi everyone. Um, I come from a reinitial company and I'll present a basic principle of CMOS image sensors. Um, yeah, I'll start uh, with a short introduction of one of the main uh, product uh, which uh, Renisho produced. Um, describe about the pixel design, which are usually optimized for 2D arrays, um, and to we'll go through the passive pixel, active pixel. Plus Arrays. But this absolute encoder um, and the basic things which includes is the some optics, um, then a light source. Uh, you can see on the, the right side. Um, this uh, light is then um, shine over the optics to the uh, scale where our uh, lines, uh, our unique pattern, uh, that lies, uh, light then um, reflected back and um, uh, image sensor detect that light uh, and based on that um, detected light can be calculated the position of the um, encoders or the um, scale which is attached to some um, uh, moving part. Um, and those uh, encoders can achieve um, a resolution of uh, one nanometer at 100 meters per, uh, per uh, second, so such uh, high speed uh, movements. Uh, this is one of the, our uh, image sensor, uh, which is already in production and includes the uh, cells, uh, charge amplifier for each individual. Um, Pixel. This is then uh, these signals are then sampled at hold um, and over the read out those value and by um, uh, converting that values and uh, processing value um, we can uh, define the accurate position. Um, so what's important for us is. Uh, for photodiodes that um, needs to have a small, uh, have high, uh, high sensitivity, small noise and uh, dark current. And regarding uh, um, readout circuit, noise which influence um, on the accuracy of uh, defining The general CMOS each uh, diode is actually also the photodiode, ex uh, except needs to be exposed to the light. And usually the the package or the ASICs are in um, black package, so they are not exposed. And uh, but yeah, if we um, um, have different um, packaging, like uh, just a glass on top or uh, just open bare dye, uh, we can easily detect light. But yeah, uh, crosstalk is, uh, optical crosstalk is small. So um, this uh, came um, clean the um, uh, substrate and um, there can be collected uh, either uh, one, uh, the appropriate uh, photodiode or adjacent one. But in case of using technology, which has on top, uh, I don't know how this works, but yeah, uh, this picture has AP layer and uh, deeper in the structure, so it's a higher uh, possibility that uh, the um, pair of electron hole which is created by a uh, photon uh, will be um, collected with the, the right photodiodes. So 
advantage to using uh, the image sensor uh, CMOS technology. But to improve also the sensitivity, some kind of um, optimization of the photodiode can be done as well, like uh, using different um, wells, um, different, uh, which has a different uh, depth and bit uh, stacked photodiodes, yeah, we can improve even more. But this is more uh, or less more important for, uh, I don't know, ordinary uh, image sensors, um, where it's important that you have wider um, sensitivity over the wavelengths. One um, uh, light source, uh, usually a red one, uh, so we need to optimize it for, for that uh, purpose. Or um, <coughs> to move on, uh, our uh, basic Uh, uh, trans um, and it has common um, trans impedance amplifier for a uh, different pixel usually. Um, so this is quite uh, good because um, when size, um, then high no um, um, higher uh, noise performance um, a dark current if you compare with the um, later on other search um, <coughs> one uh, another one is the active CMOS pixel design uh, they introduced that to improve the um, thermal noise improve the dark current and uh, they, um, instead of charge amplifier, it uses a uh, source follower. So in this case, um, uh, in this case, it's uh, shown a conventional photodiode, um, which is uh, first pre-charged by a reset device to the reset uh, uh, voltage, and then um, after illumination of the photodiode, uh, source follower uh, over the source follower, we can. So, and this circuit allow us to do the double uh, delta sampling uh, um, in ordinary 2D arrays, but in case we have, let's say, one uh, D array, we can also do the correlated double sampling. Uh, to improve um, dark current and noise performance of those uh, usual um, photodiodes, they also um, uh, Image sensor also CMOS uh, CIS technology also offering uh, additional layers to isolate the end well from the oxide layer, and that why uh, in this way um, by this isolation we uh, um, we avoid and minimize uh, mainly one RF noise. Dark current improves. Um, this, this one is called partly pinet photodiode because we still cannot completely isolate uh, this N well from oxide layer uh, because we need to do uh, make a contact um, uh, with uh, N diffusion. And in the um, now um, uh, separated, and yeah, we have got also much better noise performance. Um, this is the picture of uh, usual photodiode, uh, where you can see that with extra devices, the fill factor is uh, smaller, um, and yeah, um, it means that. Uh, but also the transfer gate introduced some problems because lower and pixel design needs to be optimized that way that uh, we officially collect all the electrons 
um, get the dot. Uh, um, this is one example of um, our design of one uh, uh, pixel. Uh, we to activity and um, efficiency to collect the all electrons. Uh, we separate those to smaller um, numbers, so exactly 32, and uh, with uh, different shape of those uh, n wells and uh, as well the gate, which also. Um, present some kind of um, capacitance and by that influence on the uh, conversion again uh, as well. Um, <coughs> and uh, if and we need to evaluate which has uh, which, um, have uh, 1632 pixels uh, with four uh, T topology. Um, also, each pixel has own uh, ADC so that uh, readout speed can be uh, really uh, fast. Uh, and you can, in, uh, yeah, can compare with, the one, uh, with one euro uh, coin. Uh, it's huge um, due to the um, yeah, roughly around nine millimeter um, by seven millimeter, a bit less. But yeah. With that, I would like to conclude my presentation. Thank you very much. The paper is now open for questions. Ooh, two questions. Good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank you for the presentation. Um, but uh, I'm just curious about this uh, 10 bit ADC because there are so many in the, in the chip. So how how did you make it so um, so small? Uh, or or are they full ADC with the full capacitor range for the each each instance, or or is this something like distributed between them or something like that? Uh, yeah. Um, so um, here are actually. Um, we divide it in, um, we use SAR architecture uh, with the capacitor uh, DAX, so 10 bit ADC. And uh, yeah, really um, struggling to, to squeeze all that um, ADCs on um, sm a small parts. So we can see here this part is, uh, those are the ADC. So um, mainly uh, this part, the bottom, and um, they are grouped in. Uh, 2 by 16 uh, for uh, yeah and yeah this was really challenging but also uh, the main thing is that uh, uh, how to manage with all the, the, the power so the biasing cir circuits that uh, needs to be um, turned on only at when it's needed otherwise they are turned off uh, most of the circuit and uh, yeah that was challenging but yeah still there are uh, a lot of things which we already know how to improve them uh, because there are many effects like parasitics, um, mismatch uh, between the channels also. Um, and yeah, if you just look the ADC itself, uh, it looks uh, perfectly uh, symmetrical and mismatch is uh, uh, um, uh, good. But if you look uh, as an array, uh, it can be a different uh, story. So. Um, Uh, thank you. Uh, so my question is, uh, how long does it take to get all of the data out of the chip? And w which, which interface do you use? Uh, so uh, here we use um, LV, uh, LVDS interface, so go up to 40, uh, uh, 400 uh, megahertz. Uh, but yeah, it still need uh, about uh, 50 microseconds in this case. But in future, yeah, we will improve that. So. Uh, use multiple LVDS interfaces or, um, um, yeah. So at an encoder level, do you need for each 
position calculation, do you need the complete uh, array? Yeah, this is the development ASIC, so it won't be uh, used in production. Okay. Uh, so uh, here the, the speed uh, time was not so critical to read out all the data, but yeah, in the future uh, everything will be integrated so that processing will be integrated and the uh, image will be captured uh, just uh, uh, when it's needed. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, to reduce the time because 50 microseconds is still yeah, quite it's a lot. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. Too much. So, uh, this one uh, was optimized to get, um, so capture the image do the ABC and that took us around 1.5 microseconds but the reading time is the uh, takes the, the longest so okay so but this is the test chip as you were saying yeah okay. yeah okay thank you thank you okay another question please uh, hello uh, I see there is quite a lot of ADCs here, and you mentioned is it, it is a test circuit. But when it will be used in production, how do you plan to test uh, this bunch of ADCs, each individually, or do you have some parallelism? Yeah, good thing that uh, we can um, maybe question for uh, one of my colleagues uh, next door. But yeah, uh, uh, good thing that we can apply some uh, lights on, on and check the the pixel itself works, that's not that, and uh, we can get uh, out of the, um, the digital data, but actually we won't test each individual one, we usually left some on site to test them um, if there are some problems, uh, just the ADC itself, um, but no, on the, yeah, we, we captured the image and check if the, the the results are okay or not. So this way. Thank you.